What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Raven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Moon walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, it was a little bit of a... Uh, I guess it was a little bit of a long episode just because we were just looking for items and then battling people and all that stuff. We managed to take on Team Skull and all that crud. And then I got to realize that, hey, I can trade now. I don't need to have the internet to actually, tr well, stream this and then, you know, trade and all that stuff. So that's exactly what I did for one particular Pokemon that we can actually find around here. And that is Pichu. And, of course, I n gladly named it into Puka. Named after the Pikachu that you normally, or the Pikachu that you see in the Indigo series. The Puka that can feel the waves and all that stuff. Because eventually, this Pichu will evolve into a... Well, a Pikachu and a Raichu, and a Lolan Raichu that will be a Psychic and Electric type Pokemon. So that's one of the main reasons to why I got this Pokemon too. Like I said, guys, a lot of these Pokemon that I get not going to be on the team very, very much longer. I'm just showcasing what we can actually find. But then eventually, once we get to the Alola League, oh, we're gonna have a team. We are definitely gonna have a team. And on top of that, we're gonna we're definitely gonna be using this whole trading thing uh, every so often here onto this game because god dang there's a lot of Pokemon that I can actually find and put and trade and you know you just just make it a little bit easier for me right here so let's go ahead and continue on in our adventure right here and well here we have uh, Lily and she's like oh wait for me Draven and of course our girlfriend Lily is looking at us and she's like hmm look at the view Oh, I'm glad to see a familiar face. I always get lost so quickly. I can't figure out the the roads here. I can't even buy my own clothes. But you, you're moving on your first trial. You're going to Verdant uh, Cavern. I read something in the uh, an old book once. It said that the island challenges were once a journey made to prove yourself to gain the strength to battle against the guardian deities of Alola, like Tapu Koko. The people in Iki in Iki Town said that Tapu Koko loves Pokemon battles, didn't they? If we could meet up at Tapu Koko once more, do you think that we could uh, find the answer of why it saved you and Nebby that day, Draven? Phew, look at that. Okay, Cosmog is just going crazy. Draven, good luck on your first trial. I hope that it goes well for you. Okay, all right, whatever you say, homie. Whatever you say, baby. So, here we are going into our next adventure, and well, good gravy, man, come on. There, Draven, I've got this or this ordinary or ornery creature calmed again for now. Want to try giving him a little pat again? That's the only way he'll get used to you. Hmm. Well, let's see. All right, I'm gonna pat you in the head. You're not gonna, you know, bum rush me or anything like that. We're gonna be cool, right? Truce. It's a truce and a moo. Oh, look, look at that. Maybe Old Taro's here can feel your love for Pokemon. He sure seems happy to know you, and yet it seems like like Tauros wants to stretch his legs on uh, the on his own island challenge. <laughs> okay, so oh wow, it's running away. What? You want me to play tag now? The Meli Meli Kahuna never loses friend. Okay, alrighty. So he is uh, definitely running away right here. So now we're gonna be going into Route Two. And we're going to be discovering a lot of uh, crazy stuff like new Pokemon trainers, new Pokemon, and, well, this guy right here is going to inform us about a little something. Careful out there, young trainer. Haven't you seen the way the grass shakes on Route number 2? The rustling grass hides Pokemon and that is dying to pounce on some easy trainer targets. But battling those feisty creatures can be worth it. They sometimes drop items after a battle. Huh, you don't say. Well, let's go ahead and start battling, because that's one thing we've been missing. Welcome, Trialgar. Think you can handle the ordeal of defeating the beauty? Well, I've defeated quite a few beauties in my lifetime. Well, I don't think you're going to be anything different right here. So, here we go, going up against a beauty, and her name is Crystal. She's looking very, very nice, very tanned, Alolan and all that stuff. And here she's coming out with a Ghastly. Now, this is the first time we're meeting this guy here. Alrighty, let's do this. Bring it on, Ghastly. See what you got. Let's go with the water gun attack right here. And yes, we do have the quick loss, so this should be easy. A little bit of a squirt gun right here. And Gassy gets a whole bunch of uh, points taken off. But here comes a mean look. And Joker, yes, of course, cannot escape. So here we go with the lick attack. Crap baskets. And yes, it has paralyzed us. Luckily for us, but a few paralysis heals that way we don't get uh, mixed up in that cold hold of crap. So, look at that. Ghastly has been defeated. 
And yes, I'm going to press that button just to care for my Pokemon. And look at that. Puka has grown to level 8. Ultra Cycle at level 7. And Crystal, yes. Look at that. Crystal is just looking uh, mean and everything. Now, here's a new... Um, a new feature to this thing. If your Pokemon has a status effect, you are able to care for it in a, such affectionate way. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to show you guys what to do now. Of course, there are Poke Beans. Pokemon love to eat them. You give them to the Pokemon, they'll be a little bit more affectionate to you, what have you, and all that stuff. So let's go right ahead and start healing our Pokemon right here. So let's just go ahead and press that brush. And this is looking like a paralysis. So we got to get this one right here. You rub it all around the Pokemon right here, and then the paralysis will just go away like that. So, look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Okay. And there it is. It is loving us. And, well, right now we got seven of each bean right here. So, let's go ahead and use one bean for this Pokemon and see how it will actually like it. This is actually where Pokemon affections come into play, guys. Uh, if you guys have seen it in Pokemon Sword and Shield, this is where it comes from. And, uh, you know, again, I kind of I kind of think to myself, maybe I should have started, well, I wish I could have found a way, the perfect way to actually get this game out before Pokemon Sword and Shield, but, you know, it is what it is, guys. Things happen for a reason. And here we have another challenge, and, well, here we have Alolan Meowth ready to pounce on us, and, well, well, let's go right ahead and... Let's go right ahead and beat this Pokemon right here, because apparently you beat it, it will drop off a few good uh, prizes or items and all that stuff. So here we go with a disarming voice. There you go. Alola Meowth has been defeated. And Ultra Psycho grows to level 8. And no items have been dropped, I think. I don't know. Oh, wow. We get attacked again. How? How in the heck did we get attacked again? Or was it... Oh, okay, never mind. So here we have another Pokemon, Makuhita. Now, this is definitely a Pokemon that we're going to be needing for the first trial because, uh, yeah, first trial is going to be a tough one. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and weaken this guy down and use a little bit of a disarming voice. Look at this. Disarming voice hits him, and that was super effective. But here comes the arm thrust. And, oh, wow, this is looking, yeah, it's like a critical hit. Holy crud, this Pokemon is really giving it to us. But luckily for us, we do have Great Balls. So let's go ahead and throw a Great Ball at this guy. Oh, yes. Come on, stay in there. Stay in the ball. Stay in the friggin' ball. Stay in the ball. And there it is, guys, throwing out the peace sign. I am throwing out some kind of peace sign right there. And there's more experience points for all of us right here. And... Well, Makuhita's uh, data has been entered. Look at this. Say hello to Makuhita. And, well, check the kind of Pokemon. As you can see right here, it's the Guts Pokemon. Their daily routine consists of training together first thing in the morning, eating and napping in, uh, in the afternoon, and then more training afterwards. So, you guys already know the nickname to this guy. We had him in Pokemon Omega Ruby. So, it's only... It's only fitting that we give him its old nickname. So here we are. We bequeath you the name Yoko, or actually not Yoko, Yo Yoku, Yoko Zuna. Look at this. Welcome back to the team. Now the only reason why I'm getting this Pokemon right here is because we're gonna need this guy for the trial run right here. So there we go. Yoko Zuna has been added to our team, and well. Already we're kind of like, already we're filling up our, our team with like old veterans from uh, different Pokemon versions. But like I said guys, a lot is going to change here, there, and you know, afterwards. Now we can't go, we can't do anything right here until we get a, a service Pokemon, but let's go ahead and talk to this lady. If you go ahead through the grass right here, you can reach a cemetery where Pokemon rest. Many trainers visit it to pay their respects. Yeah, don't say. Okay, so let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon first because... That is important right there. Now, as you can see, we do have five Pokemon on our team now. Subject to change and all that stuff, but they will have a use right here. And then eventually, you know, we'll, 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 we'll count down the guys who are actually worth the the, act the actual exploration right here. So here we are in the Haoli Cemetery. And you're, gonna, you're definitely going to find some Pokemon trainers right here, some good items. And here we have a paralysis heal, something that we probably won't be using very much. 
and somebody's keeping an eye out for us. I'll use the moves it was uh, so good at. Okay, alrighty, so here we go. Taking on a Pokemon breeder Iuki, or Ikui. I can't, I can't even pronounce that name. And right now, we are kind of at a disadvantage because she does have her Pikachu. I'm going in with a Joker right now. And, well, let's see. Let's go with a disarming voice. Yes, the Quick Claw looking at you. And here we are. We're going to ruin your life. There we go. And here comes a Thundershock. And, well, that hits us pretty hard, but... We're, we are we are mighty. We are mighty. And here comes another Thundershock from Pikachu. Oh, yeah. We're definitely going to be feeling this one right here. So here we go. Water Gun for the win. Nearly beats this Pikachu. So let's go ahead and do it one more time. But here comes a Tail Whip from Pikachu. Oh, yeah. Definitely something like we, we need to keep an eye out for. And here we go. Water Gun for the win. Say goodbye to Pikachu. Alrighty, okay, okay, and look at that. We grow to level 14 for Joker right here. And, well, everybody else is getting points, including Puka herself, Ultra Psycho. Look at that. Oh, yes, we are. We're definitely growing into our own team right here. Now, we gotta take we gotta take a look at this place right here, because there is... There are, there are a, lot of, a lot of things that you can actually find right here. Now, there is an item right here somewhere that you can actually grab. I'm just trying to figure it out where it was. Let's see, right here? Nope, that's a Pokemon trainer. There are... Yeah, let's go ahead and grab the items first before we start battling anybody else. This is a good place to actually find Ghastly, so there it is. And here we found ourselves a TM100 Confide. And, well, let's go ahead and continue our little adventure right here now there are quite a few trainers that you can actually battle so what I'm gonna do first grab items then battle these people these people now let's see yes there are going to be Pokemon right here so let's go right ahead and battle a mischievous right here holy crud is this the first time I'm meeting up against a mischievous I think it is I'm gonna capture it so let's go with a disarming voice but here comes a Psy Wave attack. Now, Mischievous is a Pokemon that, you know, you don't normally see around here. And, wow, it is... He just tanked our attack right here, so... Here we go with a Quick Claw. And let's hit it with a... Let's get it with a Water Gun right here. Now, Mischievous right here is actually showing a little bit of tankiness right here. Holy crud! I might just have to capture this guy. Okay, so we're losing a few PPs right here. So let's go one more time with the water gun. Here comes another spite attack. So it's draining our power points. And here we go. And, well, it it looks like it's ready to be captured right here. So how many Pokeballs do I have? I just have Great Balls and Pokeballs. So let's go right ahead and capture this guy. Just adding it to the collection and all that crud. And bam, we have captured Mischievous. Now, here's a fun fact. You can only capture Mischievous at nighttime. In the daytime, you'll be able to capture Drifloon around here. So just be aware of that, guys, if you're looking for a Drifloon. And look at that. Puka's growing levels too. So is Ultra Psycho. Yokozuna as well. So look at this. Not even doing anything in my Pokemon are already at the double digits. So let's see, there's a fake out attack. And yeah, let's go ahead and take away Tackle. Oh, yeah. Okay, so there we go. Grab that. And, well, Mischievous' data has been added to the Pokedex right here. Look at this. It looks all menacing and all that crud. And why don't you check the kind of Pokemon that I cut? As you can see, Mischievous, the Screech Pokemon, it is a ghost type. If you hear a sobbing sound emanating from a vacant room, it is undoubtedly a bit of mischief from Mischievous. Okay, so, yeah, I'm not going to give it a nickname. I'm just going to be adding it to the team. Eventually, you'll be able to just switch them around. But that is one good catch right here. And, well, before we battle, let's go ahead and start healing up Pokemon again. So, let's go ahead and give Joker some points. And, well, let's just go ahead and start battling right here. 
Here's the Pokemon uh, that was my family rest. However, rather than being mournful, I endeavor to present by myself and Cheery or something like that. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Going up against a gentleman, Stanley, and, well, he's looking, uh... He, he's looking a little bit cheery because he's coming out with his uh, Makuhita himself. And, well, let's go right ahead and use a little bit of our Poplio or, you know, a little Joker right here. So, let's go ahead and use Disarming Voice. Let's ruin this guy's day right now. Disarming Voice. And Makuhita, of course. Was that a fake out? That was supposed to be a fake out. Holy crap. Okay, so here we go again. A quick law. Ready to go. And what is this guy doing? Full restore. Oh yeah, he's uh, <laughs> he's getting ready for this one right here because he already knows what's coming. And here we go. Nearly defeats this guy, so let's go ahead and try it one more time. Let's go, Joker. Finish him. And there you go. Joker has finished. Makuhita, I feel great about this. And, well, Gentleman Stanley. Yeah, he can't sleep right here, so that's that right there for him. And, well... Let us continue on right here. Now, I did see an item right there, so forgot about that. Look at this. We found ourselves a big mushroom that can actually be used to to buy quite a few other stuff. And, well, let's see. Well, we wow, we pretty much used up all our potions. Holy crap. Okay, so that is something that we need to buy off screen. Talk to this guy, and he's going to be like, when I come to the Pokemon Cemetery, it's no good because I get so mournful. Oh, that sucks. Okay, so here we go, going up against office worker Jeremy, and, well, what does Jeremy have to say for himself? Okay, so here he's coming out with an Alolan Diglett. Now, there is a bit of a difference with the Cantonian one. Uh, obviously, there's three hairs on its head, and it has the Steel-type capability. Now, this is a Pokemon that I kind of want to use, too, but... I gotta find like I gotta find good combinations for the teams that I'm gonna bring in here. So here we go, water gun for the win. There we go. Say goodbye to our good old buddy Diglett. And look at that, Jeremy has been defeated. What now? Okay, alrighty. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it right here. I, there could be an item here that's hidden. Kind of wanna. I, I kind of think it is, but hold on. There it is. There's an item. And, well, there is one more item right here down the middle. I know that there's an item right here down the middle. I just have to find it. There it is. We found ourselves an ether, which is another great item right there. So, that is that for the cemetery. Now, before we leave, let's go ahead and grab that one little item up top. I think we can grab it up here uphill. Alrighty, so look at that. Look at that. Okay, so we're going here, and yes, we're going to get attacked by a Pokemon. Holy crud. Okay. What Pokemon are we being attacked in? It's a Meowth. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's go right ahead and run away, because we do not want any of that. None of that, okay? So let's see. Oh, wow. Never mind. Anywho, uh, let's go ahead and just pause it right here, guys. It, this, yes, this was a whole episode of the Haoli Cemetery. We're going to go piece by piece right here because the one thing that I've noticed about the Alola region is that there's a lot of sections to this whole thing. And then a lot of my videos are coming out to be 15 minutes or longer. So we're going to do it piece by piece, guys. That way we don't exhaust you guys from the view and all that stuff. So thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys next time.